Not too long ago, those with some extra spare cash looking for a high riding position were limited to one single SUV, the Range Rover. But boy, times have changed, and SUV demand is at an all-time high rising from 25% to 40% in the four-year period leading up to January 2020 in Britain alone. Up until recently, these types of high-riding cars were focused on luxury and were often cumbersome to drive around town and not all that fast. When the Lamborghini Urus arrived on the scene in 2018, things were set to change. Join us in this video as we explore the insane success of the Lamborghini Urus and the legacy the Italian exotic car maker has produced which has raised the standard for everyone else in its wake. Initial sightings of this performance-orientated SUV date back to early 2012, when Lamborghini decided to tease plans of an otherworldly crossover. Although almost entirely different to the model we know and love today, it's very clearly an inspiration to the years of work dedicated to crafting the Urus. The concept car's engine was borrowed from the company's best-selling sports car, the Gallardo. Up to 600 horsepower would be available from the 5.2-litre naturally aspirated V10 engine, sending power down through all four wheels. Six years down the line, Lamborghini instead decided to pull power from a 4-litre twin-turbocharged V8. This is no bad thing, though, because the 650-horsepower engine had also been used in many of the car's siblings. The Porsche Cayenne and Panamera and Bentley Continental and Flying Spur, all belonging to parent group Volkswagen. It may be tried and tested, but it's also the first time the German-owned Italian automaker has used turbocharged power in any of its cars. Lamborghini also opted for an 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox over the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission it previewed in the concept. ZF's automatic gearboxes are highly acclaimed for their fast and smooth gear changes and outstanding efficiency. It debuted in the 2008-2015 V12-powered BMW 760Li, but has since been used in all manner of cars, right down to the entry-level 1 series, and in more brands than you can count on your two hands. As such, the Urus shares more than just its engine with the likes of the Audi Q7 and Q8, Bentley Bentayga, and even the Volkswagen Touareg. Where it differs from many of these, as well as premium offerings from outside of the Volkswagen Group like the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and BMW X6M, is its weight. Thanks partly to its comparatively small dimensions and partly to its use of clever materials like carbon fibre reinforced polymers, it tips the scales at 2.2 tons. All of these result in a 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint time of 3.6 seconds, which is plenty fast enough to rival dedicated sports cars that aren't nearly as practical. Stopping power comes in the form of record-breaking carbon ceramic disc brakes, 440 millimeters at the rear and 370 millimeters up front. The Urus uses a clever four-wheel drive system that, in most scenarios, puts 60% of its power down through the rear wheels for a better and more more engaging driving feel. While it's not a dedicated off-roader, its ability to send up to 70% to the front and 87% to the rear wheels does give it a trump card against some other rivals, as does its air suspension, which can provide up to 25 centimeters of ground clearance, two centimeters more than the Bentley Bentayga. Rear wheel steering helps in the fight against narrow city streets, allowing the rear wheels to turn in a different direction to the front wheels for a tighter turning circle. At high speeds, the car cleverly switches to allow all wheels to turn in the same direction, albeit at a less extreme angle at the rear for improved agility. Inside, buyers can choose from a standard fit three-seat rear bench or two solo sports chairs, providing even rear seat guests with a sports car feel. But it's only the front seats that feature heating, ventilation and massage functions. Entertainment comes from a 10.1-inch touchscreen with voice control. Bluetooth, USB ports and a DVD player. Buyers seeking the highest level of luxury can even specify a TV tuner, along with a 21-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system. While the future of its powertrains is uncertain, all automakers are experiencing increasing pressure from governments and environmental agencies with regards to emissions. And a thirsty V8 engine is unlikely to make it into the distant future, with many countries set to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel-powered cars by 2030. While a four- or six-cylinder engine might not make the best pairing for this performance SUV, it could be paired with an electric motor to form a plug-in hybrid setup. 
something similar to what we've seen with the latest Volkswagen Touareg R. Since its launch, the Lamborghini Urus has faced stiff competition from a growing list of rivals. From its own family, it goes head-to-head -head with the Audi Q8 and the Bentley Bentayga, the latter carving the pathway for fast, luxurious SUVs two years prior to the Urus's launch. Elsewhere, it needs to remain prepared to tackle the BMW X6M, Maserati Levante and Aston Martin DBX. The Maserati in particular, while less desirable, still makes for a flashy exotic car. Its 580 horsepower 3.8 litre V8 engine is joined by a pair of 3 litre V6s and a 2 litre 4 cylinder hybrid. Regardless of the uncertain future, thanks to Lamborghini, we are beginning to see the dawn of a new era, in which exotic performance car makers are turning their attention beyond the traditional two seater coupe layout. To the company's credit, just as technology filters down from high end flagship models to cheaper family versions, its new coupe esque SUV form factor is beginning to make an appearance in more affordable models. Many might argue that the Urus pioneered the coupe-like SUV design, and road-going family cars like Audi's Q3 Sportback and Q5 Sportback are now being offered in this slick aerodynamic shape. Whether you agree or disagree, Lamborghini has set a new trend in stylish coupe SUVs with its Urus, and the body style is here to stay. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section below, and if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. Videos.